Good day everybody, this is Nelka again and this is a request from one of my online students. It is how to import IFC file in Dialux Evo and how to do it. So now I open my Dialux Evo software and I will import now one of the IFC file from the Dialux Trainer collections. So I'll go to the desktop and select this private house. So this is from Revit. This uh, file is done in Revit and then they exported it into IFC file. So the IFC file is the one that we can use in Dialux Evo. So now I'm importing it. Then once you imported it, Dialux Evo will ask you questions regarding this IFC file. So you just go and read this one and then press next and then it will ask you do you want to add the site the room and the floors and the rooms and then i will just select everything for now and then it will ask you also do you want to include the ground elements the apertures and the room elements roof contours furniture and other standard reflectances for now i'll just go and check everything but if you are working only on a specific room or uh, on the rooms only, not for the indoor and outdoor, then go and uncheck uh, the other things and just focus on the room elements. And then press finish. And then when it's finished, then it will upload those uh, IFC file that we got from Revit. There you go. So now it, that, this is how it looks. And look at this one <laughs> okay so this is just a simple uh, villa or house so now you are here at the site tab and if you go into the uh, building tab this is how it looks and if you go to the level one this is how it looks and if you go to the level two this is how it looks so in the level one for example you also have your room one room two room three and room four there you go. So it's just similar to the Dialux Evo. The good thing is everything is now imported. And again, if you don't want to include those furnitures and fixtures in your calculation, you just need to uncheck it while loading your IFC file. So now it's okay. So let's focus now here at the ground floor. All you need to do now is go to this Spaces tab and then click on this one and then label it, say, for example, this one is Living Area slash Kitchen. So you just need to label it properly. Slash kitchen. And then go and select the lighting calculation requirements for this one. So let's just now, for example, select the pantries or canteen for this one. And let's say our requirements is 200 lux only. And then go and select the other one as well. So this one is a bedroom. So go and label it bedroom. And then go and again select the lux level requirements for bedroom. So for now, let's just say this is a rest restroom. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, we are requiring 100 lux for the bedroom. And this one, let's go and label it as toilet and bath or T and B. And then go and edit, select the requirements. So let's go and say this is a toilet or bathrooms. Similar to this one, this is now a bedroom. So go and just keep on labeling your uh, rooms. And on the second floor, go and say this one is attic. And for the attic, you can just lay, uh, use a standard for an attic as a storage room if you're not using it as your bedroom. So go and select the store room and say this is store or stock room. And then now you are ready to calculate and put all those uh, luminaires in your every room. So you will be now amazed that this Revit file includes everything, including this uh, fixtures and furniture in the kitchen. Even look at this one, the dining area is so cool. Staircase, those bathtub here. And if you go to the uh, per room, you can just go and say kitchen. Now you can see those are the kitchen appliances and furniture. And here even in the living area. And this one is open to the upper part. And if you go to the bedroom, you can see this is the bedroom and toilet and bath. And here you go. Toilet and bath is here. Even the shower enclosure is also here. You can now change the materials here. This one is supposed to be a glass. So just pick the material and make this one as a glass. So it's a transparent 
go the degree of transmission let's say 50 or 60 percent and then just drag and drop and now you have your shower enclosed sure as a glass all right so go and let's say for example let's put some luminaires and uh, let's say i want here at the toilet for example so just go and select um one down light here in my collection okay so let's just use this uh, wall washer here in the toilet and let's just select the automatic arrangement for the spaces click this one and then click on the room and there you go so i have three down lights so if you want to edit this one and say for example you want two by two you can just place two by two here so it will become like that and then go and run a calculation this one so if you want to make it fast calculation for this area oops i think this is supposed to be on the recess okay let's just make it a recess so if you want to make it as a fast calculation go and select the set calculation make it fast and then run a calculation and then even if it has object inside because this is from revit the file size is not that heavy yeah i can um say that the, the revit file is sometimes really good because even if you have heavy objects here it's still still really good and it's really fast using this Dialux Evo 9.0 with patch. So there you go. Our toilet is now okay and it looks good. Yep. There you go. Uh, the only problem here is sometimes the window is not working properly. Like for example here, look at this one. Sometimes it's transparent on the other side. But if you want to double check your window, go and click on the pick material and click on the window. And you can see there is transparency here it's just it's so obvious okay so there you go and i hope you like this video tutorial and if you want to learn more of advanced training in dialux evo because this revit in importing is part of the advanced training go and check my udemy courses i will now <laughs> going to upload the advanced uh, dialux evo for advanced and if you want to know more tips and tricks about lighting design go and visit my website www.enrocolightingdesign.com and of course my youtube channel go and subscribe in my youtube channel to have a free tutorials on how to use dialux evo and how to learn and to learn more about lighting design so that's it see you again on the next video bye